Oh hello folks, I'm just sailing through my Minecraft world in this nice looking white hole sailing boat with my two chests and uh, adequate space to fit a nice big party of people. Welcome guys to episode 913 of Minecraft and I'm using the sailboat mod. Not too long ago, you may remember me reviewing the Elegant Punt mod. Well, this is the Elegant Punt mod. This is its brother or sister, its upgraded brother or sister. And uh, look at what it has become. It has become no longer a small tinny with water flowing inside it and uh, only being a single chest to a fully functional, crazy machine sailing boat that's as much as i can say on how awesome it is now take a look at this the best way to view the sailing boat is by using your uh, f5 keys and there we go all right it takes a little bit of a little bit of practice to get to uh control it it's actually very easy to control you just need to use your mouse and also keyboard keys to play around with it you can see that it is very nice using two sails for added speed and take a look at this this mod is multiplayer compatible and the mod developer wanted me to show off uh, this awesome awesome mod I, lo I love these sort of crazy mods where they implement something totally crazy into minecraft so if i go swim over here and uh one bug that i have found is that it is kind of hard to access the boat um, you can see there's invisible walls over here. I can't move any more forward than that. I just have to fly up and sometimes it's shaking and uh, really creating a bit of a havoc. Havoc or place. So let's go place another one down and let's go fly up and uh, come on. No, don't you dare do this. I want to enter the chests. Okay. Okay, let me, there we go. Now we have the port chest. Now the way you craft the white hall is by using three punts and the way you craft the three punts is by using three boats and also the separate recipe of creating, uh, there's two recipes using three boats and uh, or you can create it with three wool and two sticks. All right, so enough of the crafting recipes. Let's go actually use this elegant punt. Now take a look at this. Uh, there are multiple seats. There are actually six seats to choose from and uh, we're just going to go to the main captain's seat where you can control. You can only control it in one area and there we go. It'll be awesome if you can see a rudder. Now one thing, whoa, all right, we've hit a little bit of turbulence, but let's go over to this swampy area and you can actually ride over sea uh, lily pads. I was going to call them seaweed, but uh, all right, here we go. Lily pads. This is a great harvester of lily pads. So you can actually collect them if there we go we can collect them there we go sometimes they fall into your lap and just take a look at the awesome uh, sort of physics of it. it if you turn to the right you actually turns uh, the sailing ship it turns to the right now there is no wind in minecraft as of i know so it just takes a little bit of a uh, momentum and the guesswork on where the wind is where the boat actually takes its um sort of course and it is very very nice very nice mod in minecraft it's got the nice looking tilt because of the wind sails it's very nicely executed and uh whoa that was that was a little bit of a glitch but all right let's go right over these squids all right here we go we're gonna squish these squids squish them good all right they really didn't get squished but we are riding in one block deep water oh god we're gonna have a crush okay we managed to survive we survive. all right let's go run over these squids again all right, here we go. We're going to squish their skulls. All right. Okay, that one just that one just went straight under me. All right, I've, I've had enough of this animal cruelty. And if you go slow, you can see the sails actually go down in uh, size. So that is pretty nifty stuff. Now, the way you exit the uh, elegant punt, not the elegant punt, the uh, white hall, is by pressing shift and right-clicking, and that sends you out. And the only bug is that... Um, you sort of get this invisible wall happening. I'm moving forward, but I can't actually reach the boat. That is the only one main problem of this mod. Now, you got to admit, this mod is pretty damn epic. So, uh, I rate this mod a massive 9 out of 10 Fruit Loops. One thing that it really needs to fix up is that white, uh, not white, uh, sort of invisible wall that uh, you can't actually penetrate through. And uh, that's definitely going to become a joke. And oh god, we had a little crash with the vines. But off we go, we are steam racing on. And it will be really awesome to see if uh, I, can, I can definitely see some adventure games happening. You can have the boat in multiplayer and your team members can sit and shoot arrows at other boats 
boats in a, in a race. That will be a really cool, awesome race. One person would be the driver. The others would shoot from the boat. Uh, bow, bow and arrows. So let's go actually test that out. See if you can actually do that. So let me get out. And this is what I was exactly talking about. Take a look at this. I'm in the spectator seat and voila, we are off and shooting away. And I can definitely imagine this becoming a popular adventure game. How awesome would that be? On a server, you'd be uh, having teams and you could have battles with... This is amazing. I really want to play this. I, I really need to make a server. I need to make a fan server. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and as always, have a nice day.